Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. Well, hello again, everybody. In between answering your questions, I got the feeling that uh, some of you were getting kind of tired of looking at my ugly talking head, so I'll go back here to another project that I was working on. As those of you who have been following the videos know, uh, YouTube user 45 player uh, recently reintroduced this AM stereo kit of his, this AM stereo transmitter exciter kit, and I got one, put it together, and had a little bit of trouble because I only had one channel's worth of audio. Well, he asked that I send it back to him, so rather than sit here and fool around with it too much, other than a cursory examination, I did, and now it's all been fixed, and I also asked him if he would do the uh, high power modification, and the high power modification has been done. You can see the little light bulb is glowing there. This thing is all powered up. All of its woes have been cured, and it is back to 100% perfect operation. So, why don't we have a little bit of a demonstration, just so you can kind of get an idea of how incredible this thing sounds. Now, I have no idea if you can still get one of these kits or not, because supplies are, as they say, limited, and I believe that once the supply of these has been exhausted, that is the end of the line. So I am definitely very glad that I got in on this, because this has been a really enjoyable experience. I had a good time building this, and I've had some great communications with a uh, 45 player as well. Um, I prefer to use his screen name, um, as with most things. But let's let's give this thing a listen here. I've got it hooked up. I'm running in the high power mode with a 12 volt power supply here. It was a little unclear on whether or not it was okay to hook that up to the same connector that the 9 volt battery was hooked up to. But looking at the videos, it seems that that's the way to go, and I haven't smoked anything just yet. So hopefully I won't have any problems with that. It's been running for about a half an hour right now. I think my little trusty 9 volt battery here is finally getting a little bit on the winded side. Now, although my little camera doesn't uh, doesn't do a very good job of recording audio, I still think that for the sake of this demonstration, you'll notice the difference immediately between the mediocre AM tuner built into this Technics SA150 receiver and this thing. This is a Medusi Pro 1K high fidelity wideband AM stereo tuner. I bought one of these because I thought it would be a good investment. Unfortunately, although it sounds absolutely incredible, the tuning is jittery, the unit is unstable, it doesn't like to be touched, and the tuning also tends to drift as it warms up, and its maker has been pretty much wholeheartedly unwilling to stand behind it. So I'm really, I was really disappointed in this thing for the price paid, but I guess I'll consider it a lesson learned and uh, console myself with the fact that it does really make AM radio sound incredible. Now, some of you might have noticed this over here. This is an earlier version of the same thing. This is the Medusi AMX 2000 tuner, and someone loaned this one to me just so I could do a cross comparison because the Pro 1K has an 8 to 1 reduction drive on its tuning that's supposed to make tuning easier, as well as a frequency counter display, and this one, of course, doesn't have any of that. The audio quality is neck and neck between the two, and while tuning the Pro 1K is definitely easier, they both need massive improvement. Maybe one of these days I'll dream something up along those lines. Anyway, without further ado, let's do a little bit of listening and a comparison between the two tuners, just so you can hear how incredible the finished kit really sounds. Now as far as the audio source goes, I'm just playing audio out of my Dell Latitude D800 laptop. I noticed a little bit of uh, high-end kind of SE distortion, so to kind of cut that down, I gave it just a little I gave the output just a little bit of a tweak with the iTunes built-in equalizer on the treble reducer setting and that seems to have helped a lot. So anyway, let's give this thing a listen here. Go ahead and start something playing and first I'll play the tuner that's built into the receiver. Which is just monophonic AM and not that impressive to listen to. Now let's switch it over to the stereo tuner. Get ready for this. Full stereo separation and a beautiful sound by comparison. Night and day difference. 